Hello, hello. Good evening. Good evening, teacher. How are you Good today? Evening, hello, how are fine. you? Nice to meet you. Fine, fine. Nice to see you. In my guy in, in my house. In this moment, raining. Really? Yes. Wow. Here it started to rain at about four. Let's see, it was about 4.30. I, I have just come. When I came, it was raining. It started to rain, but it was a little slow. But about five minutes, no less. About three minutes later, it came at terrible rain but it stopped right now it's quiet no rain probably it will rain later again right but for the moment there is no rain Vamos a ver. let's see um, Ready for the attendance. Okay. Twenty fourth today. We're about to finish June, right? A ver, Adriana, Marcela. Adriana. Adriana, hello. No here. Ana. Okay, let's see if you can hear me better now. Adriana, no here. Ana, Carlos Josué, Carlos Josué, David Alexander, present teacher, Diego Batres, Diego. Edwin Mauricio. Present teacher. Elda Cristina. Present teacher. Elmer Fabricio. Gema Carolina. Gema. Jessica Lisset. Present teacher. Jose Alfredo. Present teacher. Jose Alfredo. Karen Janet. Present teacher. Teacher, no me mencionó. Jose Alfredo. Jose Alberto. Ay, José Alfredo, ¿qué presente? Es cierto, que va a pedir a José. También buen visto. Present, teacher, es que me está fallando el audio. <ríe> Sorry. Ay, qué barbaridad. José Alfredo, sí, ¿verdad? Aquí está. Vamos a ver. Sí. José Alberto, no lo llamé. Sí. Present. Me salté a Karen. Present, teacher, present. Qué barbaridad. Thank you, José Alberto. Karen Janet. Present teacher. Carla Lorena. Present teacher. Karen Stephanie. Lisette Dayanara. 
Present teacher. Nubia. Present teacher. Oscar Mauricio. Oscar. Rebeca Marcela. Rodrigo. Ana Grisel. Carolina Abigail. Grace Michelle. Present teacher. Rosa Hilda. Present teacher. Luis Mauricio. Ok, vamos a ver si ya se unieron los que no estaban. Adriana Marcela. Ana Alicia. Carlos Josué. Present teacher. Diego. Elmer Fabricio. Gemma Carolina. Jessica. José Alfredo. Present teacher. Karen Stephanie. Oscar. Rebeca. Rodrigo. Ana Grisel. Carolina. Luis Mauricio. Va. Ok. Vamos a ver. Just want to check something here. Well, today uh, we continue talking about steps that with the difference that we are going to start using a different structure, right? And the uh, adverse of sequence, right? We are going to be using today. Háganme un favor, vayan a la, a la plataforma así rapidito. Eh, en la plataforma, eh, quiero que revisen la tarea 1.1. Porque me comentan que ya la arreglaron, pero no sé por qué a mí me aparece me sigue apareciendo mala. Entonces quiero que vean eh, cómo les aparece a ustedes. Porque ya me mandaron. Todavía mala, dicho. ¿Verdad? Y fíjense que me mandaron hasta foto. No entiendo. Teacher. Uh -huh. ¿En cuál? Porque yo las he hecho todas y en todas me ha salido bien, no tengo ninguna que la no uno, La 1.1. Sí, todas me salen que es el 20 de 20. A mí no. No sé por qué. Y ya la corrigieron, hasta me mandaron evidencia de, mire, si sí está corregida y a mí me sigue saliendo mala. Todavía sale mala, dice. Y a mí me sale buena, 20 de 20 todas. Sí, a mí también. No sé si se puede mandar captura, no, ¿verdad? Pero lo tiene con el Dan o sin. Con el Dan. A mí me sale mala. Sí, a mí también me sale mala, Ticha. Cuando se lo había quitado, me salía buena. Sí, Le me voy a compartir saliendo Ticha, para mala. Que vea. Y también me, puede, me sale mala. Me puede este, dar acceso a compartir para mostrarle. Tomó, si sale mala, para que vea que sí está buena. Fíjese que 
A mí me sigue apareciendo, sí. Pero, pero. Teacher, es que ahí es sin el daño, entonces. More beautiful es, nada más. Es correcto, no, no tiene que poner el dato. Es que sí lleva el dan. Y, y sí saben cuál, cuál es Ajá. la vaya, se lo voy a enseñar. Al menos no sé qué pasó acá. Sí lo corrigieron mal entonces, porque yo lo acabo de modificar y sí me salen buenas quitándole el dan. Ajá, no, es que así estaba, pero miren. No sé, no, creo que no lo, no, ya le voy a, le voy a compartir. Siempre sale mal. ¿Por qué? Pero no sé, este no es. Pero al revisar, dice, el progreso aparece al 100. Pues yo sé que está mala, pues, que le falta el dato, pero. Uh -huh. Pero, pero es que, no sé, ya voy a verificar a menos. A menos. Ya sé qué pasa. La que han corregido no es la 1.1. Seguramente en el examen viene de nuevo este ejercicio. Déjenme ver. Porque sí me mandó el jefe y me dice, mire qué raro porque ya corregí. Y me mandó evidencia, pues me ha mandado foto. Pero yo estoy viendo que hay otro ejercicio acá. Ajá. Ahí está, lo corrigieron en el examen. Va, ok, sí, ya me extrañaba y por eso le dije voy a revisar porque eh, sí hay unos ejercicios parecidos en el, en el examen, ¿verdad? No sé qué tan iguales son, vamos a ver. O oh, sí. Las primeras tres oraciones son exactamente iguales a las del ejercicio que, que hicimos en el 1.1. En el examen sí ya están corregidas, pero en el ejercicio todavía no. Oye, entonces eh, yo ya le acabo de, 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 de confirmar aquí porque, porque me dice, mire qué raro que no le aparezcan corregidas porque ya las corregimos y me mandaron evidencia. Eh, pero es eso. La corrección está hecha en el examen, sí. Eh, entonces, vamos a seguir esperando, ¿verdad? Ya, ya les reporté yo que es, que es en la tarea 1.1 para que le hagan la corrección de nuevo. Una cosa, chicos, vámonos. Eh, bueno, ya no estoy compartiendo. Les voy a compartir acá porque este ejercicio... Vamos a ver. Este ejercicio de la 1.5, no, 1. ¿qué? 9 era, ¿verdad? Sí, la 1.9 está mal también. Vaya, right. este sí, pero allí, ni modo, lo vamos a dejar así, porque yo lo reporté, yo le puse que en el diccionario, pero me dijeron que en el manual así aparece. Entonces, que este, lo vamos a dejar así. Vamos a ver. Para que lo arreglen, para que les aparezcan los, los 100 puntos. Este era, ¿verdad? Entonces, a la 3 le vamos a dejar Publicity Stunt. Y a las 5 le vamos a dejar Bundling. Para que se las tome buenas, porque como en el manual así sale, entonces me dijeron que así estaba. 
ahí en el manual, entonces por eso es que así la tomaron, ¿verdad? Entonces ese ni modo así va a quedar porque así sale allí, ¿verdad? Así es que háganle la corrección, oye, a la tres, a las a la tres y a las cinco, la tres sería publicity stunts para que se las tome buena y la cinco sería bundling también para que se las tome buena. Oye. Ok, teacher. Bye. Ahí estamos. Bien, ya. Y vamos a seguir esperando por este, ¿verdad? Porque sí, la corrección sí la hicieron, pero en el examen hay dos ejercicios. Ahí estas tres oraciones están exactamente iguales a acá. Entonces hicieron la corrección allá, pero falta que, que aparezca acá, ¿verdad? Así es que esa déjenla así, pónganle el dan y déjenmela así. Yo eh, voy a estar pendiente de, de esa corrección. Ya reporté, ¿verdad? Que sí, que en el examen está bien, pero nos falta allí. Oye, así es que yo sigo pendiente. Ustedes ya despreocúpense de eso. Y este y ya, ¿verdad? Ok. Bueno, this is our class number nine, right? Class number nine. Como nada, ¿verdad? Como nada. And today uh, we are going to see or to learn how to use adverbs and transition expressions. Adverbs and transition expressions. Transition expressions are expressions that help us jump from one uh, thing to another. And as we are talking about procedures, we're talking about steps, these words are very important. They are also called sequencing words. That's another name that they receive. Sequencing words because what they are doing is narrating the order of the steps. Right, so we know the steps, but now, uh, and, and during these days, you have been describing different steps or procedures, um, how to do different activities. Ay, ya se vino el agua aquí otra vez. <laughs> but uh, today, what we are going to do is add to those steps, those words, you can call them adverbs of sequencing, or you can call them transition expressions, right? So that's okay. Um, but these words are going to help us to give an order of the sequence of the steps that we have to follow when we do something. Okay, now I have a couple of questions for you. Check the first one, what steps do you follow in your everyday work? And what happens when an employee doesn't follow procedures? Okay, so what is steps? So then let's take it here. What steps do you follow in your everyday work? Just like superficially, uh, you're going to describe them, right? And then what happens? When in your company, right? Don't think, uh, don't talk about employees in general, but what happens in your company when an employee doesn't follow procedures? Okay. Well, I'm going to send you uh, to discuss. No tengo a nadie ahorita que esté oyente, ¿verdad? No. Teacher, uh, I'm coming at my home right now, so can you give me 20 minutes, please? Bye. Okay. Only Adriana. Les pregunto porque el que anda, eh, si, si, si alguien anda así oyente o va manejando o va en, el, va en la moto, no lo mando a grupo de, a pareja, sino que lo mando a grupo de tres para que esté oyendo, pero no se me ponga en riesgo tampoco en la calle. But, okay, let's see. Let's go. 
somos 14. Ok. Adriana. Va, ahí está. There we go. Karen Janet. Vamos a ver, Karen Janet. Ok. Ah, muy bien. Está en un grupo de tres ya, Karen. Bye. There we go. Remember, you're going to discuss these two questions. What steps do you follow in your everyday work? And what, what happens when an employee doesn't follow procedures? And remember, we're talking about the place where you work. That's where you have experience, right? So where you know what happens. There we go. Try to join. Check, check if you can join. Grace, Rodrigo, Lisette. Good evening, teacher. Hi, eh, Oscar. Lo mando por aquí. Gracias. Cheque si ya le apareció. Rodrigo, check if you can join. Grace Michelle, Rodrigo. Uh, in the morning, uh -huh. I. <laughs> ¿Cómo se dice pedir? Ask for. Ask for. Uh, este... Hello. No, solo necesitamos acceso para compartir pantalla. Ah, teacher. ok. <laughs> Me imaginé. Sí, sí ahora sí. Yeah. <laughs> I can read your mind. I imagine, I imagine that that's, that was the reason for you to call me. <laughs> okay, discuss the questions. Okay, ahorita. Okay. Okay. What steps do you? Sí. Teacher, ¿qué tipo de café le gusta a usted? Coffee. Okay. In English, pregúntale. Ah. What kind <laughs> of coffee? I like. I like. I like, huh? I like cappuccino. Cappuccino. Well, I love. Mm -hmm. I love coffee in general. All mm -hmm. type of coffee. I'm. I'm cafetera completely. Juan Valdez, example. Mark. Juan Valdez. I like Juan Valdez. I like Nescafe. I like eh, de este. ¿Cuál es el que tiene café Verona y café tostado y no sé qué? No, pues es más cafetera que yo. 
<laughs> yes. You know, my daughters know I love coffee. So for Mother's Day, they give me a, a bag of special coffee for me to prepare. This year, they gave me four little bottles of saborizante, like some like a special flavor for the coffee. So I can prepare my coffee and put that extra. One is avellanas, the other is vanilla, and I don't remember the other two. But yeah, I am, I, uh, I love coffee a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot. I love coffee. Yeah. You love coffee too, David? Yes. But my wife, my wife, she loves the coffee. She loves coffee too. Yeah. yeah. See, it's like the my, my wife made the the buy a coffee machine. Ah, yeah. I have a molinito. Mm, de de lo que tienen tienen en cápsula. Mhm. Uh -huh. Más de eso, de esa que le ponen la cápsula. Ah. But that's very expensive. I have I have seen that. And, and my daughter says, mommy, and I said, like, mm. because <laughs> every, every cup of, every little bag for a cup of coffee is almost two dollars, right? Yes. Uh -huh. the, the box, they contain uh, 10, 10 cups. Uh -huh. It's uh, 11 dollars. Yeah. Yeah, that's true. But it's very yeah, good. yeah, definitely. Yeah, sometimes we buy Starbucks for putting in the coffee, in the coffee maker. In the, in the Starbucks. Uh -huh, Starbucks. Most the Starbucks. Hilda <laughs> uh, Hilda said they don't like the the Starbucks because no. of the flavor. I like. Well, the one that we most consume is Starbucks. Uh, well, when we want like a special coffee, right? <clears throat> no, but normally for everyday use, we buy ne Nescafe Listo or Musum. Mm -hmm. Nescafe Listo or Musum, those are the two that we, that we consume like for everyday use. Okay. But when there is a special occasion and we want something different, Juan Valdez, uh -huh. we go for Juan Valdez, the instant coffee, mm -hmm. or, or Starbucks, the one for boiling, right? For the coffee maker. So it depends on the on the situation. But yeah, my little daughter and me are the ones that are always like that we feel. Hmm, this coffee is not that good. Oh, yeah, this is very good. <laughs> so, <laughs> yeah, we love it. <clears throat> Definitely. No, 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 right? And Rosie, do you like coffee, Rosie? Yes, teacher, I like coffee. I, get, I guess everybody likes coffee, right? When you start working. <laughs> or when you mi abuela, mi abuela preparaba uno artesanal, tostaba el café tostaba tortillas, ponía a quemar tortillas y hacía la mezcla y todo eso y tenía un sabor bien rico en el café. Mm -hmm. My mom no. used to do that too. She, I remember she toasted coffee and corn. Ajá, and maíz también. Ajá. Mm -hmm. Ajá. Coffee, corn and cinnamon. And then she was in la piedra de moler, right? Sí. She uh, blended that and we had coffee for preparing the rest of the of the week or, or the month depending on the quantity that she did but it was because uh, where I lived when I was uh, a child there were uh, cafetales around uh -huh. sí. so we could go to the to the cafetal to pick up coffee right like <clears throat> when people uh, cut the coffee sometimes they drop coffee to the floor and they don't pick it up so we used to go like uh, january when the cut has finished had finished and we went to to pick up 
coffee and we went like with a little bowl and we picked a lot and then my mom did a special coffee for it lasted some time because we were cafeteros at home we all <laughs> my grandmother have have the coffee plantation oh and then but uh, my mother is the preparation of the coffee. She prepared it. Yes. Yeah. Yeah, delicious. That was better coffee than the one that we buy. Definitely, right? Because they used to prepare it with love and they did it. Very, very good. Very good. <laughs> and the, and this, the, the, the tester, tester in the coffee. Uh-huh. Yes. And and we are well in my family, we all love coffee. We all whenever somebody says, Hey, somebody wants coffee, I'm saying like yes. <laughs> <laughs> yes. And of course, of course, we cannot say no to a cup of coffee. Right? Definitely. Okay. How are you doing? Tell me, did you finish? Not teacher. No. Yeah, teacher. Okay. And one, one, one moment. It, uh, and the answer in the moment. Okay, well, perfect. Uh, they said, what step do you follow in your everyday work? Uh, first step, I ask for a coffee cup. <laughs> Early, I turn on my machine. Then I clean it. Next, I check my schedule. Compartir pantalla. No se puede. No. Hi, hi. Hi, teacher. Uy. Uy, sí. Mm. Ah, y le falta todavía. Sí, no lo he. ¿O ya lo tiene usted ahí? Eh, es when, when I'm floggy. Mm -hmm. When an employee doesn't follow procedures, eh, ahorita le tomo, vale, lo voy a mandar. Ahorita, como yo lo he desarrollado, arriba, arriba le va a aparecer en, in en... English, in English, try to speak English. <laughs> <Híjole>. <laughs> <laughs> en la parte de buen. En la parte de arriba le aparece en español y arriba, allá abajo en inglés. Lo vamos, mm -hmm. lo vamos a We have a little problem, eh, teacher, eh, because eh, eh, I, I, I am connected <laughs> with my cell phone. Uh -huh. and then, or can Mauricio too? Okay. Uh, for uh, share the screen is a ah, little it's, a, it's, it's very difficult, I know. But can you see the questions? Yes. Okay. Okay. Ahorita la man. For for uh, for the answer, can we read only read the sure. You can write the answers in your notebook, no problem. Okay. And then you read them when you share. Okay, excellent. Thank you. You're welcome. 
estaba haciendo, pero no sé cuál es. Hi, how are you? Hi. Hi. Sí, teacher, uh, share the, the screen. Okay. In the first question, what's that do you follow in your everyday work? Every day work? And once sign the attendance to take my temperature, uh, free turn on the computer for make report the previous day, I check emails, six hours the size than required, uh, seven working different tasks. Okay. What happens when an employee doesn't follow procedures? One is object of a call for attention verbal. Two, it is persistent. A writing warning is applied. Three, finally fire the employee. Okay, they fired the employee, okay. Okay, great. Well, I'm going to take you out now. Let's go. Hagan su capturita, no se les pierda, right? Before mm -hmm. I take you out. Ready, Carlita? Yes. Sí. Okay. Okay, coming, coming, coming. Yes. Vamos a ver. Who will be my first volunteer? Volunteer. Who will be my first volunteer? Mm -hmm. Me, teacher. Okay, go ahead, Oscar. Okay. okay. Uh, fear. No, sí, Juan Paso. Or Marchande. Ah, no, primero la pregunta va. What still do you follow in the everyday world? Uh -huh. Entonces dice, me y Juan orden, ordena merchandising. Do prepare invoice in products. In products. Eh, eh, disparting, dispar, híjole, dispar, ten. Are this as as a uh, time? No sé si si lo si lo pronuncio bien. Okay. What happens? What happens if an employee doesn't follow the instructions? What happens an employee? Okay. Okay. Is en employees sí. allí pues allí no hay bueno, bueno. Eh, Juan es verbal verbal ah verbal warning is madden madden como atención do eh, se lleva un procedimiento do is D is take a prodigy and um, um, note attention is mother in the for the second time. Okay, 
The first time is verbal. The second is greeting. Sí. Y la tercera no, no, no me consta. La puse en español, pues no, no alcancé a, a traducirla. En la tercera ya se le hace una llamada de atención y, y salud, Lulu. Ok, so they fire the employee. Fire. Mm -hmm. Ok. Porque ya se le hizo un llamado primero verbal, después escrito y en la tercera pues ya se le canta la mañanita. Ok, bueno. Well. That's sad. Uh -huh. Okay, thank you, Oscar. I need another okay. volunteer. A victim. Mm. Question, question. Who wants to be the next one? Rosie? Yes, teacher. Uh, first, uh, I ask for a coffee cup after I turn on my machine and then I clean it. Next, <clears throat> I take my schedule and I finally start to work. And second question, uh, what happened when an employee doesn't follow procedures? Uh, first, uh, are wrong, delays other process, and attention is called for, for follow procedure. That's it, teacher. Okay, very good. One more volunteer, one last volunteer. Me, teacher. Okay, go ahead. Okay. Um, let's see. Uh, the steps that I follow in my everyday work. Number one, prepare visual material. Number two, prepare visit route. Number three, uh, vehicle inspection. Number four, visit clients. Five, uh, take an order. Six, web signature to support visit. Seven, is uh, send the order to the office and number eight reports online. And so what happened when an employee doesn't follow procedures? Uh, first, uh, we have uh, the risk of making a mistake in uh, and having big problem with the results and the regulations have to be applied. Okay, okay, thank you. Thank you very much. Now, let's go to the next part of the activity check. We have here a, este mouse tiene vida propia. But check this. We're going to read the this conversation in the in the restaurant. And remember, we said we're going to talk about adverse of frequency of sequencing, right? To, to describe a sequence. Now let's read the conversation. See here. I forgot how to process a payment. Here, I forgot how to process a payment. All right. First, you give the options to the to pay in cash or credit card. All right. Here's, you give the option to pay in cash or credit card. After that, take up, take the payment and put it in the register or you slide the card through the card reader. After that, After that take, the, take the, payment the payment and put, put it in, in the, the register or, slide the or you slide the card through, through the, the card reader. reader. Then the register prints the receipt and you give it back to the customer. Then, then the register, register prints the receipt, print and, the receipt and, and you give it, and you back, give it back to the, to the customer. customer. Finally, the customer signs the receipt and you keep a copy. Finally, Finally the customer, the customer signs the receipt, receipt, the receipt and, you keep keep a copy. and you keep a copy. Thank you, Mr. Moore. Thank, Thank you, you Mr. Moore. Moore. Okay, one more time. 
See, I forgot how to process a payment. <laughs> Here, Here, I, I forgot how to do the payment. All right. All right. All right. Give the options to pay in cash or credit card. First, First give, give the, the option, the option cash or credit card. Cash or credit card. Right. After that, take the payment and put it in the register. After, After that, that, take the, the payment, payment and put, payment and put, it, put it in the register or your slide. Or you slide the card through the card reader. Or you slide, or you slide, or you slide the card through, through the card reader. Then the register prints the receipt and you give it back to the customer. Then, then the print the receipt and you give it back to the customer. Finally, the customer signs the receipt and you keep a copy. Thank you, Mr. Moore. Thank you, Mr. Mr. Thank Mr. Moore. Mr. Moore. Repeat process. 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 This is process. not process. process. Because no es un noun, it's a verb, right? To process. Process. Payment. Payment. Cash. 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 Through. Cash. Through. 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 Card reader. Customer. Customer. Signs. Summer. Signs. 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 Okay. Do you have questions about Signs. any word? Related to pronunciation. No questions. It's register. Correct. Register. 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 En register. este caso es register. Ah, register. 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 Take the payment and put it in the register, like here. Register. Because this is a noun. When you use in the verb, that is register, the mm. verb. Mm. Pero el noun Regis. sería register. register. Put it in the register. En el registro, register. right? Mm. So you can have register. a noun okay. or verb, right? Mm -hmm. Regis, regi, register. Or register. Or register. Okay. Register as a noun, the stress is here. Mm -hmm. Unregister. It's a verb. As a verb. Okay. If you say register, the stress is here. Mm -hmm. And the same happens with process. <clears throat> process. The process oh. and the verb will be process. 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 Okay. Lo que ven subrayado es el, el stress. Right? That's the stress. Sí. The registrar prints the receipt. Mm -hmm. Register. Register. Process, process, right? So you have to be very careful on what is the way or how is that word used in that moment, right? What is the context of the word? If that is being used as a noun or if it is used as a verb. Okay, any other questions? Mm -hmm. No question? No. No teacher. 
Okay. Not in Thank you. <laughs> okay. Well, I'm going to send you uh, to practice the conversation. You're going to practice this conversation and you're going to answer these two questions. What steps does manager Moore give Javier to process the payment? And what words does manager Moore use to order the sequence of the events? Those are the two questions that you're going to discuss after you have practiced the conversation. Okay. Vamos. Okay, there we go. Hopefully we can all join. Us. There you go. <clears throat> Join your join your room. Grace Michelle, try to join. Tell me if you cannot see the invitation. Check, check. Grace, are you here? Vaya, Grace y Jessica, si no pueden unirse a un grupo, pueden trabajar aquí juntas entonces, ¿ok? Grace, 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 are you in class? Jessica, are you with us? Hello, Grace, Grace, Grace. No está, Grace. Uh, receipt and you give it back to the customer. Finally, the customer sees the receipt and you keep a copy. Thank you, Mr. Moore. Now I am Javier. No. You, Javier. <laughs> I am Javier. Sir, I forgot now the process uh, payment. All right. First, you give the option to pay in cash or credit card. After that, take the payment and put in the register of your slide the card through the card reader. Then the register prints the receipt and you give it back to the customer. Finally, the customer signs the receipt and you keep a copy. Thank you, Mr. Moore. Sir, I forgot how to process a payment. All right. First, you give the option to pay in cash or credit card. After that, take uh, the payment and put it in the register or you slide the card through the card and read. Ready? Ready? Then the register, print the re receipt and you give it back to the customer. Finally, uh, the customer see the receipt and you keep a copy. Thank you, Mr. Moore. Teacher is reader or oh, reader. 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 The card reader. The card reader. Ajá, es el lector de las tarjetas, right? The card reader. Okay, uh, sir, uh, forgot how the process uh, payment. Mm -hmm. All right. 
first you give the option to pay in cash or credit card. After that, okay. Sir, I forgot how the process at a payment. All right. First, you give the options to pay in cash or a uh, or credit card. After that, take the payment and put in it in the register or you slide the card through the card reader. Then the register prints the receipt and you give it back to the customer. Finally, the customer seeks and the receipt and you keep a copy. Thank you, Mr. Moore. Bye, Adriana. Marcela, your point. Okay, I'm gonna start. Mm, I don't know who is gonna be manager Moore. Diego or, or me? No sé, como quiera. Prints the and you give it back to the customer. Bye. Okay. The customer signs the receipt and you keep a copy. Thank you, Mr. Maureen. <clears throat> okay. Otra vez. <laughs> more. Okay. Uh, um, more. 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 Sir, mm -hmm. I forgot how to process a payment. Process. 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 Process a payment. Mm -hmm. Real. Feel you give the option to pay in the car or credit card after paying the paying the payment in the book in the in the day history or you seal them the car thrones. The car ready, then the re, re, no, the re, re, register, 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 register. Mm -hmm. bring the receipt, receipt, and you give the black back to the customer. Finally, in the customer, seeing the re, Justo donde termina. Eh, las unidades que vamos viendo. In English, in English. <laughs> the unit. <laughs> mm -hmm. I repeat the conversation. Sir, I forgot how to process a payment. How to process. To process. to process. All right. First, you give the option to pay in cash or credit, credit card. After that, take the payment and put it in the register or do a slide the card through the card reader. Then the register prints the receipt and you get give it back to the customer. Finally, the customer signs the receipt and you give a copy. Thank you, Mr. Moore. Now I start. Sir, I forgot how to process a payment. All right. First, you give the option to pay in cash or credit card. After that, take a payment and put it in the register or you slide the card through the card reader. Then the register prints the receipt and you give it, give it back to the customer. Finally, the customer signs the receipt and you keep a copy. Thank you, Mr. Moore. Okay, very good. Now you can go answer the questions, right? Yes, teacher. Mm -hmm.
the jet color no it's jet yellow color it's the steps step the that manager your mood give uh javier e that and that um words that manager your mood used to order the sequences the sequence of events is the first after that then and finally okay mm -hmm. And we give it back to the customer. Finally, the customer sends the receipt and you keep a copy. Thank you, Mr. Moore. Oh, Mr. Javier. <coughs> I'm Javier. Sir, I forgot how to process a payment. All right. First, you give the option to pay in cash or credit card. After that, take the payment and put it <coughs> in the re register or your slide the card through the card reader. <coughs> Then the register prints the receipt and you give it give it up give it back ay, perdón, to the customer. <laughs> Finally, the customer sings the receipt and you keep a copy. Okay. okay. Thank you, Mr. Moore. Okay. Okay. We've been to the... Did you answer the questions already? Yeah. Already. Alright. Okay. Nice. And in, in the in the first question, and what step does manager more? We uh, just como separamos. You separated the, the uh -huh, separated the all the steps and uh -huh. it's like a resume. Uh -huh. You separated and, the steps and then uh, como hacer un resumen. Make a you made a summary. Hey. Okay. E, and in the second question, uh I think it's, it's all words. just 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 the words. First, after that, then right. And finally. And finally. Are we okay or not? <laughs> That's okay. <laughs> you separate the words and then you you assign each of the, the activities for each day, right? Mm -hmm. Very good. Well, I guess you finished. Yes, teacher. Yes. yes. Oh, okay. yes. Perfect. Let's go then. I'm going to take you out. Okay. Thank you, Rosa. Thank you, Jose. Microphone teacher. I always return mute.
Bye, let's go to the attendance right now, all right? Before we forget. Let's see. Hola, buenas noches. Hello. Está mi compu. Hmm. Deja. Se quedó la, la plataforma en bien grandota, no me deja ni abrirla, ni cerrarla, ni no sé. Pero... Buenas noches. Hello. No, está por eso. Ahí está. <ríe> Ay, no, no me dejaba salirme para irme a la lista. Bye. Adriana Marcela. Present teacher. Eh, Ana Alicia. Ana. Carlos Josué. Present teacher. David Alexander. Present teacher. Diego. 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 Present teacher. Así como él. Mauricio. Hilda. Rolando Mendoza. Ok, Elda, Cristina. Present teacher. Elmer Fabricio. Elmer Fabricio. Gema. Gema. Gema Carolina. No. Oscar. No. Jessica. Present, present, present. Aquí estoy. Jessica Lisset. No está Jessica. Present teacher. Ok. José Alfredo. Present teacher. José Alberto. Present teacher. Karen Janet. Karen Janet. Present teacher. Present teacher. Okay. Karen Stephanie. Karen Stephanie. Karen Stephanie. Carla Lorena. Present teacher. Present teacher. Nubia Zulema. Present teacher. Y Lisette no está. Present 
Ah, ok, ya la oí. Allá, Nubia. Present teacher. Oscar. Present teacher. Rebeca, Marcela. Rebeca, Marcela. Rodrigo. Here, here. That's it. Ana Grisel. Ana Grisel. Carolina. Grace Michelle. Mauricio. Ok. Ayer no me mencionó, precio. Rosy. Ay, no, en serio. Vamos a ver. Ups, sorry. Rosy, Grace Michelle, Rosa Hilda, Andrés Mauricio. Right? Por estar viendo que Luis no había venido otra vez. Grace Michelle, hello, 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 hello. ¿Cómo está? ¿Qué tal? ¿Cómo está? Ahí está. Ok. Bueno, let's, let's, eh, let's get ready. <laughs> ok, sí, Oscar. Va, let's share again. Now, let's check the questions, right? What, what steps does manager Moore give Javier to process a payment? What are the steps to process a payment? Uh, give the option to pay in cash or credit card. Mm -hmm. And then, uh, okay. Put it the register on your slide the card through the card reader. Okay. What else? Then the register prints the receipt and you give it back to the customer. And then the customer signs the receipt and you keep a copy. Okay. Perfect. perfect, perfect. Now, what words does the manager Moore use to order the sequence? First, first, first after that, after that, then, then, finally. Finally. then finally. finally. Okay. And of course, it will depend on how many steps you have, right? If you have many, many steps, you can say first, second, third, then next, after that, and finally. But of course, that will depend on the number of steps that you have in the process that you're describing. Yeah? Now, uh, check, this, uh, check this process, right, that we are going to be reading about today. It says, oh, well, the, the, the process is on how to handle complaints from angry, rude, or frustrated customers. How to handle complaints from angry, rude, or frustrated customers. Yeah? We are going to be talking about five steps. I'm going to send you in groups of six. The first person will, will read the introduction in the text I'm going to show you here. If you notice in the in the in the PPT I presented to you five steps right 
but the first person will present the introduction of the problem. Then the second group will start with the, with the steps. So group number two will have a step one, group number three, a step number two, group number four, a step number three, group number four, a step number five. Last group, number six, we'll talk about the step number five, okay? I'm going to share this document with you. So uh, you can, you're able to read it, right? I'm going to paste it there. Um, well, I'm going to upload it for you there in the chat. But there you go. And remember that what you're going to tell me is the steps to follow there. Yeah, I'm going back. I'm going back to the presentation. So first, the first person, the intro, the first group, sorry, the introduction. This is group number two. Why you talk about step one, group three, about step two, step four, and step three, step four, and step five. So you will like each group will have a step, just the first group that will give us like the general introduction of this situation. Okay, you can open the document. I share it with you in the chat. And I'm going to make the rooms. Y las preguntas las pueden mandar así de cuadrito de ese grupo. Ahí está todo el documento en el grupo, este Oscar. Ok. En el chat, en el chat de WhatsApp. No se lo subo aquí a Teams porque Teams no permite subida de documentos. Así, verdad, okay. no, no se puede. Vaya, eh, ahí está en el grupo de WhatsApp. Chequenlo. I have groups of three, one pair. One pair. If I see somebody else coming, I will send it to that group. Okay. Bye. Group number one, I have David, Karen, Janet, and Lisa Dayanara. <coughs> I have the introduction. Hasta donde se presentan las steps, solo la introduction. Es number two, Adriana, Jessica, and Jose Alberto. You have number one, step one. El da Cristina, Grace, and Rosa Hilda. No sé si Grace, creo que no. Eh, you will have a, a step number two. Edwin, Nubia, y Oscar, step number three. Diego, eh, José Alfredo and Carla Lorena, step four, and Carlos José and Rodrigo, step five. Okay. Estamos claros? Any questions? Questions? No. Questions, questions? No, questions? teacher. No questions. Okay. Now, let's go. There you go. Check the invitations, try to join.
Jessica, Diego, try to join. Sí, en el, hay que contestar la pregunta número tres. Vamos a ver. A nosotros, a nosotros nos tocaría la, la triba. Sí. Number yes. three. Number three. Number three. Number three. Number three. Customer say. Say the phone. Talking in the phone. In a thing we know. Play the phone. Step three is clarify. Clarify. Sí, dice, sometimes we mistakenly proceed to resolve a problem based on what we think the customer was saying. The third step of the process allows us to clarify and draw out information to make sure that we understand the customer true concern. Examples for clarifying might include what I hear you saying is, is that right? Can you tell me more about how may I help you? What were you hoping will happen? Clarifying lead, lead us to the appropriate solution in a more efficient manner. So, en el WhatsApp dice que estaba. Sí. Yes, in the WhatsApp. Va, me voy a meter el WhatsApp. Solo que. Permítame. Si me meto, no me van a ver, pero si sí me van a oír. Uh -huh. Vamos a ver. <coughs> bueno, o, o grosero, posiblemente. Teacher. Uh -huh. Hola. Excuse me. You are, eh, you are group one. Yes. Sí, les toca toda la introduction hasta donde empiezan las steps. Hasta acá. Ajá. Hasta allí. Ya esto de five steps process ya no. Ok. Ah, ok. Si, si por poquito no da todas las páginas. <risa> Una página entera le tocó. Ay, pero es tan bien fácil. Vaya, pero ahí quiere que contestemos las preguntas, teacher. ¿Quiere que hagamos preguntas o, o un no, resumen? Lo que ustedes van a hacer es presentar la situación. ¿A qué se refiere? Ok. Uh -huh. Ok. De tratar a... Sumito. Eh, okay. Because we're talking about a rude, a rude angry or rude eh, customers, right? Uh -huh. Yes. Uh, then you will give the examples on in which situations are uh, which situations are those when the customers get uh, frustrated, get angry, get, and they appear complaining in a very rude way. That's what you're going to tell. Then the other groups are going to present the steps that they have to follow uh, how to handle the situations that you will present. So you only introduce the situations. 
right? In what, in what situations do the customers complain in that way? That's it. And the others will, will present the steps to follow for how to handle the situation. Yeah. Okay. Understand, Diana? Diana? Qué calor. <laughs> Yo lo escuché un poquito Al... cortadito. Vaya, read the instructions. Now you know what to do, right? Yes. Okay. ¿Y cómo se llama? Y las soluciones de ganar, ganar. 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 Win, win solutions. Ajá, uh -huh. Arrive at the solution that will be a win. Ganamos los dos. You are successful. You will. Que si está satisfecho, va a retener al cliente, superando las expectativas del del cliente y proveyendo una equipo positiva en la experiencia para continuar con usted la, la lealtad, digamos, a la empresa. Ajá. Uh -huh. Ok. Uh -huh. ¿Y qué es lo que tenemos que hacer? Que creo que ahí nos... Nos dormimos. En uh -huh. your case, you're talking about step one. Yeah. Yes. Only. Yes, so, step one. Ajá. Uh -huh. uh -huh. Remember that we're talking about how to handle complaints from angry, rude, or frustrated customers. Then you say, uh -huh. well, uh, there are five steps in the process of how to handle this situation. So and we are going to talk about the first process. Step. Uh -huh. Only only the first step. Right, uh -huh. uh -huh. you, you talk about the, the step one. See, you are going to talk only about step one. That's it. Okay. okay. There will be another group for step two, another for step three, and so on. So we have to ex try to explain uh, with our you have words. To explain step one. Mm -hmm. Okay. 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 Mm -hmm. That's what you're going to do. Present or explain. Okay. It's a. We can. Step one. Uh, Only number one. Ya uh -huh. the group before you is going to present the situation when the customers are rude or angry or frustrated, right? Uh, yeah. And then they will say, okay, there are some steps to follow on how to handle it. And now we come with group number two to, to present the step one, and then you enter. And you okay. will tell me only we step one. Mm -hmm. Okay. Now, thank you. You're thank welcome. you. Um, and we can take a part of. Ah, your step is very little. <laughs> yes, teacher. I teacher for pensarlo está complicado. <laughs> Acknowledgement. Acknowledgement, that's the word, right? You have some difficult words here. Acknowledgement, challenging, apologize, forward, diffuse, emotion, and placing. Yeah. Allí pónganlo en, su, en sus propias palabras, ¿ok? okay. Teacher, ¿verdad que sí, así es, verdad? De que lo leemos y damos la opinión de lo que nosotros hemos entendido en esa situación. Exacto. Okay. If you have an example, you can share it there. Ok. Perfecto.
Sería en esa home, home and help you. Y desarrollar esa. You go for a step three, right? Sí. Yes. Yes. That's right. Yes. Perfect. But in base of uh, uh, the. Um, in the page 19. In the page 19. In the framework four, the number three. Sí, you have page number. Allí les puse el documento en el WhatsApp. No está en el manual. En el WhatsApp oh. les puse el documento de Word. Ah, oh, ok. Only, only this, teacher. Only number three. Each, oh, okay. each group will present a step. And your step is step three. You have to read it. Eh, present it in your own words. And if you want to give an example, you can do it. Okay. 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 Son los okay. steps que les compartí en el WhatsApp, las que los que me van a presentar ahorita. Yeah. Ok. Vaya a Ok. Step 3 oh. les toca a ustedes. Step 3. Step 3. Step 3. Clary. Clary. Ok. ¿Qué dice Carlos? A ver, parece. Sí. Podría hacer una opción. Sí. O no sé si algún oh. otro tiene una idea diferente. Mm. Sí, ofrecerle otro producto o reducirle English. el costo. De... In English, in English, in English. <laughs> Offer the <laughs> other product. Uh, uh -huh. to see you can do it. Or a discount for for the pro. Mm -hmm. Uy. Esperen que lo voy a anotar. No voy a hacer. Ok, eh, es que lo puedo ir escribiendo abajito para, para ir formalizando la idea. Sí. Equivocado de traducción. No, um, the, no, no ocupen el Google Translate, aunque ese no sabe inglés. ¿Cuál sería? <risa> Ustedes saben más. That the, that the is... Ustedes saben más que el Google Translator. A ustedes les toca step five, solo step yes. five. Yes, eh, coach. Aquí lo tenemos ya hecho, teacher. Ah, ok, va, perfecto. Already finished. Oh, great, great. The confidence. Confidence. Ok. Uh, Tú lo estás corrigiendo con la teacher. No. No, yo, yo lo que... Uh, yo no puedo, no tengo acceso. <ríe> ah, yo, yo dije que raro, lo, él lo compartió y ella lo está con... con, con no. 
No, le, no, no. Le escuché a la teacher la corrección, por eso le hice. Uh -huh. Ah, ya. Yeah. Okay. Thank you. Are you ready? Yes. Yeah, we're ready. Okay. Uh, first, ask the customer if the service was good. What uh, is your step? Uh, what is the step five? Step five, check. Uh, step one, first ask the customer if the service was good. Step two, after that, if customer said yes or not, give a solution to be satisfactory. Okay. Step three, then give the product or service that they are waiting. Number four, step four, finally ask again if the customer liked the service or product and so you create confidence. Okay. Great, great, great. Vamos a ver, it's about time. I'm going to take you out to have one minute to return. Okay. Okay. Batch. How many? Oh, we're still missing some people. Let me leave it open here. Okay. Everybody back. Let's see. Oh, yeah. Okay. Vamos a ver group number one, David, Karen, and Liseta Yanara. You're giving us the introduction here, right? Yes, it's her. Okay, go ahead. The present? Yeah, yeah, you can present. Okay. Okay, the introduction. Uh, the most customer service professionals deal with the many challenging customer situation about the quality or delivery, a product return or a cancellation of service, uh, incorrect information given to the customer, negative due to past experience, confront, confrontation, issues and conflict, angry customers, company policy or procedure, a, the last, the escalate a call to the management. The ultimate goal in this challenge situation is the provide a win-win the solution mm -hmm. a win-win solution right yes teacher that's it okay perfect and for getting that win-win solution there are some steps to follow right we will have a, a group number one or well group number two Presenting the first step, that is a strategize, right? Strategize. Group one, group two, Adriana, Jessica, and Jose Alberto. Who will speak? Strategize. Um. <laughs> Do you want to share or, or that's okay? 
and we I, I think we have a little problem with the chair because the chair? Adriana, Adriana's can't share the, the screen and me too. Ah, me it's okay, then no problem, no problem. I leave that presentation and then you can share. Okay, and uh, I have a, um, a little explained that I can read that. Okay. And the step one is that strategize, strategize, mm -hmm. yeah? Yeah. And about that, before uh, engaging in interaction with the client, we must be very clear about the objective. If we want to save, if we want to save it or just stop the situation, do know how to act. Whether I need any approval to solve and offer a win-win solution. That's all. Okay, very good. It's strategize, right? Okay. What about step number two, acknowledge? Acknowledge. Um, I see I that, uh, that screen. Okay. El Danros, right? Okay. Yes. yes. Okay. Acknowledge. I seem that acknowledge that a mistake has been made with a customer is essential to solve the problem. If the customer is upset, it helps him change his attitude to the situation and feel different. Mm -hmm. You know there is an error teacher, how an the error? pronunciation? An error. An error. An error, but they, but that they will solve in somehow. Okay, perfect. It's not the same that uh, when they tell you no, there is no problem here, than when they tell you yes, there is a problem, and we will help you with it. Right, we will solve it. Okay, great. Now, group number four. Group number four. You go for class, no, group number. Sí, ¿verdad? Number four, step three. Number four. Clarify. Clarify. Clarify Edwin, Nubia, and Oscar Maurice. We share the screen. Okay, perfect. Step three, clarify. Clarify might help us to handle and resolve many complaints or many problems with a customer. This situation may include the next samples or topics. What I hear you saying is, is that right? Can you tell me more about how may I help you? What were you hoping will happen? Clarifying leads us to the appropriate solution in more efficient manner. Okay, very good. And you use it uh, it is very important because you can use it to really understand what the customer is trying to tell you, right? Because sometimes uh, there is a problem, but the customer doesn't know exactly how to explain. Or the customer is trying to say one thing and the, the person who is attending is understanding something totally different, something. right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. okay. So in that That's situation, right. the clarifying is very important, it plays a very important role. Now let's go for number five, no, number four. Present 
a, a resolution. Present a resolution. That is uh, Diego Jose Alfredo and Carla Lorena. Will you share the screen, Carla? Jose Alfredo, Diego, who? Eh, Carla, eh, podría compartir pantalla. Ok, Carla, con him. Well, um, in the step four, uh, talk about the present resolution. Um, we decide uh, the the customer is angry because preside a uh, ground product. We we think uh, that could be could offer the the new product um total totally free mm -hmm. um because he uh, porque él no no debería esperar más uh, ya aparte del tiempo que esperó con un producto totalmente erróneo que no le agradó decimos que puede recibir el segundo producto totalmente gratis y en In inglés okay. <ríe> me cuesta teacher <ríe> okay lo voy a leer lo que habíamos puesto porque por ejemplo in case that the product is wrong code offered a other product to the customers and tell about the order is wrong but the second product is totally free of charge Okay. Only that. Uh huh. So that would be between the alternatives that you're going to offer. Yes. No other alternatives. Um, tell with the customers for the for um, um encontrar solución. <laughs> Find a solution. Uh -huh. Okay. Yes. Uh -huh. But remember that there are some things that you can and some things that you cannot do, right? And that will depend on the company policies. Yeah? So, oh, claro. Uh, companies have a policy. So in some cases, the, the company says, okay, we made a mistake. That's okay. So you get it for free. But in some other case, and that happens in restaurants, right? When, uh, when the, 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 the product is not that expensive. But if you're talking about a cell phone, a computer, a television, something that is more expensive, that will not be a good alternative because then the company will lose too much money, right? That's why I say it depends on the company. And it depends on the policies of the company. Okay, thank you, Jose Alfredo. Thank you very much. But if we're talking about restaurants, that's what they usually do, right? Uh, they don't give you much alternatives. They, they only say, okay, don't worry. We're not going to charge for the product, right? That's okay. Or they send you uh, the product you asked. Or they just, for example, if you have order online, they revert and they, they give you the money back and they do not charge for the product. Okay. Well, let's go for the last group is uh, step number five. That's check back. Check back. Check That's back. the last one. Okay, Rodrigo and Carlos Josué, right? Carlos Josué. If Carlos Josué can uh, share the, 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 uh, screen. the screen. 
Eh, check back okay. has. Uh, okay. eh, 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 aquí está. Ok. As we know, in check back, so many clients are happy or, or sad mm -hmm. or furious. The is says the check back is the opportunity to uh, to mark for that the customer is uh, successful and feel about the resolution or check back uh, included. We do the check back uh, point like how that be satisfied. Satisfied. Mm -hmm. The first step it will be the first ask the customer if the service was good or was was good. Uh -huh. if, uh, when, for example, you are in the restaurant, you said, uh, how was the service? And you says, uh, uh, bad or good. A second, uh, after that, if, if the customer say yes or not, give a solution to give satisfactory. A third, a then give a product or service that they are waiting for. And finally, ask again if, if the customer like the service or the product and so they are a, um, a create confidence that 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 was our point okay okay thank you very much and like that you don't lose a customer right because that's the important point here not to lose a customer you keep that customer say like okay no nah, but don't pro no problem if they made them if they make a mistake they accept it and they give you something so they don't say no don't go to that place because when they make a mistake eh, they do not respond right so that would be a real problem because you the company is losing a customer and probably other people who know that customer will stop going to that place too. Okay, great. Now, um, any questions about these five steps? No, no questions? Okay, you did a great okay. job. Question teacher. Yeah, okay. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> Ese es el gran que era cebolla. Sí, mi computer para atrás. Espera. Ah, como que era cebolla igual cada momento y esto la cayeron. Come on, mouse. Venga, tenía que Ok, check this. Check this activity. This is the last one we will do today. We won't finish. We won't finish, but I want you to get some the rice today with the sentence. I will do with this tomorrow. Do you ever meet difficult customers like the ones we were talking before, right? One of the situations. Okay. Um, do you ever meet difficult customers? One of the situations below. Listen and describe by the steps that you could use to deal with that difficult customer. Okay. And then present your process to the class. Check. We have the situations. We're just going to read the situations today. And tomorrow we are going to be using the sequencing words again. And we're going to be talking about these situations, right? So you have a customer is angry because his, his food was not delivered on time. There is a, a mistake here. Make the correction. It's not his food, it's his food. 
conversation, right? His food was not delivered on time. A customer is very aggressive to one of your employees. Uh, there is no reason, right? Nobody says the reason. A customer is very aggressive to one of your employees. Number three, a customer says he found a toothpick in his food and that he will not pay for the food. Un palillo, right? The pa palillito, that's what he found in the food. So he says, mm -mm, I won't pay for it. Number four, a customer is calling upset because he received the wrong delivery order. That's very common. And the last one, a group of customers are getting upset because the cashier is too slow. Okay, so tomorrow we will say how, right? Uh, it says choose one of the situations and list and describe the steps that you could use to deal with these situations. But that will be tomorrow, okay? Tomorrow, we are going to be doing that. Tomorrow, Sunday is Saturday. Know, tomorrow is Saturday. Bueno, yo trabajo mañana igual. <laughs> no, Monday. Ma. Monday. Ma. Monday. Monday. Saturday. Saturday. <laughs> Saturday, you will sleep early. <laughs> okay, sí, Rodrigo, yo tomorrow. Ya quedamos en directo. Tomorrow, tomorrow. Vamos a ver. Tell me present, please. Adriana, Marcela. Adriana. Present teacher. Ana. No, no, ¿verdad? Carlos Josué. Present teacher. Baby, a ver si se llama. Cristina. Present teacher. El Mer Fabricio. <laughs> Lo voy a dejar calladito y abran el micrófono hasta que me vayan a decir present, porque si no, no me oyen. Oh. Ahí está. Vaya, Elmer Fabricio. Gemma. Lisset, Jessica Lisset. No está Jessica. Jessica, 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 la veo allí, pero, pero no. Eh, José Alfredo. Present teacher. José Alberto. Present teacher. Karen Janet. Karen Janet. Present teacher. Karen Stephanie. Carla Lorena. Present teacher. Nubia. Present teacher. Lisette Dayanara. Present teacher. Oscar Mauricio. Present teacher. Rebeca. Rodrigo. Here, present teacher. Ana Grisel. Ana Grisel. Nota Carolina, Grace Michelle, no está Grace Michelle, Rosa Hilda, present teacher, no. Luis Mauricio, no, here. ok, solamente vamos a ver, no, ya no están aquí. No, Mañana les voy a mañana y dale con mañana. El lunes les voy a decir lo que les iba a decir cuando estén los que quiero que oigan eso. Ay, ahorita, bueno, se queda conmigo Elda, ¿verdad? No, él se queda conmigo. Ay, Gema. 
Y él da así como que anda a ver. Gemma Carolina, class nine today, correcto. Sí, ¿verdad? Ay, no, creo que todos nos perdemos cuando, cuando no, no el día 10, no el viernes, ¿verdad? Sí. The Monday, last night. Sí. The Monday, we have class 10. Ok, Gemma se queda con the rest. Bye. Enjoy your weekend. Good night. Good night. Sleep a lot. Bye. Happy weekend. Have a happy weekend. Thank you, teacher. Good night. Good night, Diego. Bye, Miss. Bye bye. Take care.